Today I'm going to show you how you can bring your Figma designs to actual coded apps in minutes using Figma's new MCP server with Cursor. If you are a designer, you will learn how to code your own apps using AI or if you are a developer, this workflow will help you save so much time by getting the design ready so you can focus more on the logic part and less on the visual stuff. I've worked with big companies in the past, whether I do consulting, design services, design systems, even front-end development, so I have a bit of history in this industry. And the the reason I'm mentioning this is because what I'm going to show you isn't something that I think we'll forget about in a couple of months, but rather shift the way designers work with code and vice versa. So in this video we'll cover some basics first because I don't know your background and skill with coding, so I'll probably start with the fundamental uh, stuff, but I'm expecting a degree of familiarity. Uh, if you are already a developer, feel free to skip the first part of the video. So what we're going to cover, uh, first uh, we'll set up uh, Figma's uh, MCP server with Cursor, uh, then we're going to set up a Next.js uh, project from scratch and finally we'll test drive a couple of screen pages uh, which I think uh, will amaze you. Yeah, so let's get started. Something really quick before setting up the code environment. Uh, let me quickly explain what MCP means in my own words. Obviously, I'm not an expert. If you need in-depth information, uh, you should look on the official page. Basically, MCP is simply a protocol that allows certain apps to communicate uh, with an AI on some predefined ground rules. Uh, simply said, it's a way that uh, AI knows how to ask for information or perform actions on our behalf. For example, the Figma MCP uh, server has six tools that Cursor or any other AI tool can call uh, if it if it requires. Uh, if the if the AI requires some metadata from the Figma file, for example, it will call the get metadata tool and get the required information. So the first thing we want to make sure uh, is we have our Figma MCP server enabled in our in our Figma, and we can do that from the actions panel here. Go to the preferences and make sure you have the desktop. Uh, MCP server enabled. You can also do it from the dev mode by toggling uh, from the main toolbar here. Now let's get into installing Next.js as our uh, project structure. Uh, to do that, let's open terminal, go to your code folder, or in case you don't have one yet, uh, just use uh, make dear code or something like that, and then cd in that folder, um, and then just paste this command, which is npx create next app at the latest version and the last parameter is the folder name where you want to um, install this this uh, next.js so make sure the last parameter at the end is your folder name which i'm going to name figma mcp here uh, we will get some questions so let's go ahead and type yes to most recommended prompts. Uh, these do not really matter in the end. We only need a clear project structure where we can export our code from Figma. If you need me to get into this part more thoroughly, let me know in the comments and I'll send you a complete guide uh, step by step. Okay, so now that we have Figma NCP enabled and a fresh Next.js project, let's add uh, the Figma NCP into our cursor. To do that, let's CD or navigate into our newly created Next.js folder and then uh, open cursor by typing a cursor and then a dot. This will open our code editor in the root of where we are. So now we want to add Figma to the MCP server list. So when you'll prompt something about Figma, cursor will know what you are talking about. To do that, let's open settings um, by just pressing uh, shift command P and here on the search, you can search, you can uh, type um, MCP and this will open uh, the MCP settings. Uh, as you can see, I only have it turned on. So let me just go ahead and click edit first because I just want to copy the configuration which we'll add together. So let's suppose I'm deleting this and we're starting fresh. Um, let's click add custom NCP and here let's add a new object called Figma um, and here we'll add the URL attribute I just copied a minute ago. So now make sure you have the correct IP which is uh, 127.0.0.1 which is your local host with the port 3845 slash MCP. Once we have this, um, let's uh, press, let's save by pressing command uh, S 
and go back to the installed servers where you should be able to see that cursor has already requested those tools uh, from Figma NCP. So proof that it works fine. As we said at the beginning of the video, these are all uh, the the tools on AI can request from Figma so we can get the screenshot, uh, metadata, create design system and all that fun stuff. Now that we have everything in place, uh, we have our MCP enabled, cursor is linked with Figma and we already have a, a project structure with Next, it's ready to actually test drive. So for this example, I'm using a library that I designed myself, which is based on MUI's Material React library. The reason I'm using this as an example is one, all LLMs are already familiar with the MUI library at this point. Uh, so they are very good at exporting code for uh, MUI material library. The second reason is that Figma's uh, MCP can send uh, layer structures through the metadata object, which helps in generating the code with my exact components that I've built my screens with. Um, and not using some custom created component uh, in, in context. So I'm only interested in using components available in the MUI library because I think that's much, much better to have a design library and not create everything from scratch, especially when it comes to bigger application, bigger apps that involves maintainability along the way. So let's start with a very simple, straightforward example, which is a login page designed with, uh, as you can see, if I hover uh, this component, I can see that I'm using card header, which is an instance of a component, text field as well, and, and so on. So let's copy the link from this exact screen because this is what uh, we're going to prompt into Cursor. Okay, so for this prompt, I already have something written here. So feel free to grab this one uh, in your own project. Uh, so it's, I have something like design this screen from, from this Figma file uh, with the link I just copied from Figma. And here we have some uh, added bullet points. One is make sure you, have, you make a login page in all throughout uh, because I don't have any folders created. I want Cursor to make that one for me. Also uh, add, uh, take into consideration the layer structure from the metadata because I want to use the exact components from my screen. Uh, and uh, the last bullet is use only MUI material components. For example, button is button because um, the namings are slightly different from the API in Figma. Oh, and also don't change the design, make it as exactly as in design. Let's go ahead and hit enter. We can see that it called some tools to get the metadata. It got screenshot from my screen and uh, we'll see what it does. Let's check out what it has exported so far, which at first glance, it looks fine, except some uh, some things like the data node ID, which we'll delete a bit later. It also created a custom theme, but I'm going to delete that because we're going to use the default one and we don't need that as, uh, at all. Let's check out the actual page that it has exported. Uh, let's go on the slash login page. And this is the exact page I had in Figma. I don't see any significant changes. Um, actually, it looks identical. I really like the results. Now let's test it out with a more complex example, like the one I have in the Figma file, uh, like the job screen. Uh, it's not super complex, but it proves the point of handling more um, you know, complex screen jobs. Uh, we'll use the same prompt to design another page using the link with the screen, which I'm pasting in. 